Hello. 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 Hi, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm sorry. No sé qué pasó, pero me expulsó la compra. But I'm here now. Okay, good. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hi, Marlene. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ruth. How are you today? No, <laughs> no. 50 50. Okay. Good evening. Hello, Gloria. Good and happy. Uh, okay. Perfect. Hey, hello, Tati. How are you? Hello, teacher. Okay, how was the weekend? Fine. Fine. Okay, good. Yes. Excellent. Okay, we have uh, Jose Pilio, we have Stephanie, Johanna. What's up, Johanna? Very good. Okay, very good. That's nice. Hey, Rafael. Elsa. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, hello, Elsa. Good. And Rafael Antonio, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mayra. Eh, fíjese que la cámara este, me está fallando. ¿Habría algún problema a la hora de tomar la foto o algo? Eh, no, porque me explicó. O sea, si me preguntan algo, pues yo puedo dar fe. ¿eh? Ok, no hay problema. Está, gracias. Okay, ok, good. Vaya, pues ni modo, no podemos hacer más. Ok, no problem. Ok, hello. All right. Eh, antes de comenzar, ¿alguna pregunta sobre los, eh, la plataforma? ¿Cómo van? Antes de que nos olvidemos del español. Avanzando, teacher. Avanzando, no van muy atrasados. Van al, digamos que van al día porque sí es que... Me, le pregunto esto, le voy a preguntar esto normalmente al inicio porque por lo general nos mandan a nosotros, no nos dicen miren quién o algo, solamente nos, nos piden que les hagamos énfasis en que se conecten a la clase y que, y que vayan trabajando la plataforma, que son los dos requisitos mayores para que ustedes puedan aprobar y estar en el siguiente nivel, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, por eso, si tienen alguna duda, recuerden que yo puedo detener, digamos, la... Eh, la clase para explicar algo, o sea, no, no detener en sí la clase, sino que explicarlo y luego continuar con, con lo que estemos, este, digamos, uh, trabajando en clase. Así que cualquier duda que tengan, pues con todo gusto. En el chat, cuando tengan también dudas ahí, siempre mándenlas ahí, a veces no les contesto en el momento por alguna razón, pero este, al no más tener chance, yo les, yo les, ok. Good. Is that all right? No problem? No, no problem, mister. No problem. No, no problem. All right, good. Okay, so then uh, we're going to continue with the class today. We have uh, a... We were talking about vocabulary, about the objects, furniture, things that we have in our house, right? Then uh, we were practicing about the table, lamp, sofa, uh, what else? The coffee table, the night table, the chairs, the armchairs. Well, now you have computers. You can have, uh, for example, uh, pictures hanging from the walls. Uh, what else? Uh, the lamps the lights, the TV, uh, you can have a TV set, you can have flower pots, flower pots, you know, to, to put flowers. Uh, what else? Uh, let me see, probably you can have a, a microwave. Microwave, but well, we go to the kitchen, you can have a microwave, you can have the stove, okay, you can have also the, how uh, the, the how do you call this? The top boards, the top boards, cabinets, right? The top boards that we have in the 
in the kitchen, a, well, we have dishes, plates, okay, the plates, right? The plates, we have the washing machine. What else? Help me, help me. Uh, thank Teacher. Uh-huh, Vanessa. Este para decir juego de sala o sofá, dining, ¿cómo sería? Dining set. Dining, dining set. set. Uh -huh, that's the table and chairs. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. Okay. Good. And then when you talk about the armchair and sofa, okay? Armchairs and sofa. So you have the sofa. And there is another word for... So you can also you see that here in the chinero, para coach. Decir chinero. The coach, the couch. Coach. No way, the couch. 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 Gracias. This is, no, 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 but it's not chinero. That's the couch is another sofa, right? Couch is sofa. Como un sofa, right, yes. And let's say like to say chinero, we can say cupboards. Cupboards. So, como los gabinetes, cupboards. Okay, ahí está. Cupboards, right, that we have in the in the kitchen, right? Where we put chair, I mean, we put the uh, plates, cups, glasses, uh, forks, okay, forks. Uh, here, forks, forks, spoons. Okay, pans, frying pans is similar. The frying pan. Okay, what else we have? The pots. Okay, we can make the, the beans. Okay, these are other objects, right, that you can find in the kitchen. The forks is the one that you have to, you know, when we eat without a knife. A knife. Okay. So you have the knife, and you cut, and then you have the fork. Okay. And then we eat, right? We use the fork to eat. The spoon to have the soup. Okay. Or to put sugar in the coffee with the spoon. The pants are the metal object to make eggs, to make the beans, to make the rice, to make, uh, to cook, okay? Pants and frying pan is similar, right? Pan and frying pan. Pots, it's a little bit deeper where you put the beans, you can prepare, you can prepare the stew. Okay. Fisher, yes, una uh, pregunta, este, para decir, para decir, eh, mi casa tiene, puede decir my home, or my house have. My house has, there. Digamos, my house have kitchen, Garage. Uh -huh. My house has. Okay. A e yard is jardín. A e yard is the patio. Right? Oh, yeah. Patio, right? Patio. Okay. My house has a kitchen. My house has a yard. My house has a garden. My house, well, you can say a front yard and a back yard. Okay, thank you. What else? Okay, that is some vocabulary, right? That we can, you know, use to, you know, to express our our ideas, right? Now, let me show you the video. Okay, in this video, you will see, for example, the word there is and there are. What is there is and there are? For example, the things that exist in your house. 
For example, uh, you can say my house has a kitchen or you can also say there is a kitchen in my house. You can say there are three, there are three bedrooms in my house or my house has three bedrooms. Okay. For example, you can see there is a, okay, there is a, there is a brush in my hand. There is a brush in my hand. There is, uh, there is a watch in my, in my wrist. Okay. Uh, there is a cap. There is a cap in my hand. There is a cap on my desk. Okay. There are five fingers in my hand. Five fingers in my hand. There are 10 fingers in my hands. Okay. There are seven days in a week. Okay. There are four weeks in a month. There are 12 months in one year. Okay. There are 24 hours in one day. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Okay, you see the meaning of the reason there are? Yep, no problem? Yes. Okay. Then when you say, for example, there is a bed in the bedroom because you can find one bed in your bedroom. Now listen. This class will learn how to hold statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples with this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. Hi, everyone. Sorry. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. 
theirs equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some, some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a, that's the article a, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there then the verb to be is is um, on the example is contracted as you can see there's we will use the article a the complement is bed in the bedroom we're going to do something similar with the next example there's no sofa in the bedroom at the beginning of our sentence we have there the verb to be is is once again on the example is contracted then we will use the article a because we are talking about a singular object finally we have the complement sofa in the bedroom the last example there isn't a table in the kitchen at the beginning of our sentence we use there the verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative then we use the article a because we're talking about a singular object finally we have the complement table in the kitchen now let's look at the right hand side of this chart for these examples we're going to talk about plural objects so we need that formula there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart there are some chairs in the kitchen at the beginning of our sentence we use there after that the verb to be are next we use some it's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements we can't say any for example finally we have the complement chairs in the kitchen our next example there are no chairs in the living room at the beginning of our sentence we use there after that the verb to be are next we're going to use no notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative and you can also say aren't any as well either one is correct uh, finally we have the complement chairs in the living room for our uh, last example there aren't any chairs in the living room we start our sentence with there next the verb to be aren't after that we're going to use any it's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we are making negative statements we can't say some for example finally we have the complement chairs in the living room now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment. After you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, people. Whenever we're making positive statements, we can't say any, for example.
our next example there are no chairs in the next we're going to use no no in the living room for our uh, last example there aren't any chairs in the verb to be aren't that we're going to use any it's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we are making negative statements we can't say some for example finally we have the complement chairs in the living room now it's your turn to practice I would like for you to describe the okay that's the one that I wanted to, to see okay so you can see the um, the negative forms of uh, how to use there is and there are right in this case there are no or there aren't any there are no and there are any is the same thing in different forms right now uh, see and let me know if you have any any um, questions about the about this topic how to there is some because you have to use there is there are some any and no Teacher. Yes. Eh, bueno, según lo que entiendo es que diris and lo vamos a usar cuando estamos hablando de un objeto. Uh -huh. Y Singular. igual va a ser diris no o diris isen. Cualquiera de los dos podemos usar, pero siempre que sea de una sola cosa. En negativo, negat yes, correct. You say, for example, there is a. Sorry. There, uh, there is a car in front of my house. One. There isn't any car, any car. There isn't any car in front of my house. There is no car in front of my house. Affirmative and negative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pero el there is are any es cuando estamos hablando de varias cosas. There are. O de una. There are. Ajá. There, there are no. Okay. There is singular, only one. Mm -hmm. There are two, three, four, muchos, right? Yes. <coughs> hey, now there are no or there aren't any is only the negative form. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher. Yep. Teacher. Yes, yes, tell me. Eh, Who is speaking? Tengo duda. They are, okay. uh, el, el ejemplo que tenemos acá, they are not charged in the living room. Pero they si are, yo, la, yo, yo lo quisiera hacer abreviado, porque eh, sería they aren't, aren't charged. Entonces, porque aquí el no, no lleva not. Y si lo hago abreviado, le pongo not. ¿En qué ocasión? ¿Cómo, cómo sé que tengo que hacerlo así? Ah, ok. Look, but observe bien las dos oraciones. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Vea la, no, oración, no sé. la oración. Vea la diferencia en las dos. Es que es en la de ah, cuando podemos abreviar de aren o de aren are no. no. No es la contracción. No es la contracción. Es negación, ah, pero está. no con el, con el verbo. Ya, 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 ya lo entendí. Exacto. Ahora, muy bien. Eso es, lo primero es, obviamente, que lo, que lo vean ustedes para que lo entiendan. Y lo otro, que, ¿quién fue el que dijo que no es una negación? Ok. Bueno, solo escuché la voz. Pero eh, esto se, sí se lo puedo decir en español por, para que no les quede la duda. Y está porque es una muy buena pregunta. Eh, cuando dice, there are no, en inglés... Es the una... objects that you have sí, and don't have in your. En inglés, esa es una uh, como una como les dijera una fuerte negación que no necesita. Si yo le pongo there aren't aquí there aren't no es una doble negación. O sea, eh, es decir, no hay no, no hay no no hay no no hay no sí es algo así. Mm -hmm. en, en la de última dice there aren't any. Any chairs. Tendría lógica hacerlo. Ajá, sí. Exacto. 
Pero la segunda, ahí sí dice, por ejemplo, there aren't any chairs, no hay ninguna silla. Ok. Y la anterior dice, no hay sillas. Pero es un no como que dice, no, no hay. Okay. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo a ustedes, eh, there is no problem. Ok. Mire, teacher, bueno, por ejemplo, lo que me decía, eh, 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 que me dijera alguien aquí, mire, fíjese que mañana no me uh, quiero ver este. Eh, no, tengo una pregunta y me da pena preguntarlo. Come on, no problem. De hecho, ya, ya me dio la expresión no problem. Entonces, no problem es lo mismo que dijéramos there isn't any problem. No problem, no rules. Exacto, there is no problem, don't worry, ask. No hay, pro, no hay problema, pregunte. O de, puedo decir there isn't any problem. Por ejemplo, eh, esa palabra, cuando dice, por ejemplo, usted va a una a un evento, un concierto. Y cuando llega el concierto, está la gran cola, ya todos vienen de regreso, pero ya compraron los, los boletos. Y alguien le dice a usted, hey, no more tickets. ¿Qué significa cuando le dicen no more tickets? No más, no más tickets, Ajá. no más there boletas. There aren't any more tickets. Ya no hay ningún tipo de más. Ningún no, pero tú me sumas algo, pero... There There are no more tickets, o there are any more tickets, quiere decir, ya no hay tickets, ya no hay ningún ticket más, o boleto. Ok, entonces, el, la there are no, siempre se usa como que fuese afirmativa, right? There are, mm. pero es con el no. no. Esa es una forma diferente de decir there are in any. Al final es lo mismo, ¿ok? Significa, pero dicho de diferente forma. Quizás suena a veces un poquito más uh, enfático para poner mm -hmm. énfasis el there are no. ¿Ok? Más que el en. Ok. Ok, good. Y, el some, y si ven el some siempre va a ir there are some. Este es para afirmativo. Ok, there are some. And, remember, there are plural. There is singular. Ok. Si hablamos de un objeto... There is. O de aquellas cosas que no se pueden contar. Dígame algo que no se puede contar. One, two, three, four. El agua. El agua. Entonces, ¿cómo dirían? Stars. No hay, ¿Cómo me dirían? No hay agua. There are anywhere. No hay agua. Ajá, no hay agua. No está claro. El agua se puede water. contar. Se puede contar el agua. They are in water. Se puede contar el agua. They are there is in water. There is in water. Ajá. They are so many. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is any water. Por ejemplo, remember, countable. Now. En los contable nouns pueden usar there is or there are. Ok. Pero en los uncountable en los uncountable nouns que los que son los que no se pueden contar. Ok. Ahí van a usar there is. There is no water. Okay, pues there is no water or there isn't there isn't any water. Okay. Azúcar, no hay azúcar. There is. There is. There is. There is. Uh -huh. there is sugar. There is no sugar. There is no sugar. There, there is no isn't sugar. Any food. Or, uh -huh, there, isn't there isn't sugar. Uh -huh, there is sugar. Any sugar. Okay. Uh, let's see. Coffee. Coffee. There isn't. One moment. 
There is no coffee. There is no coffee. There is no coffee. Okay. There is no coffee. Un compañero que tenga el televisor yes. encendido, oh. apague el micrófono, por no Coffee. se escucha, por favor. There isn't any. Thank you. There isn't any coffee. There isn't any coffee. Okay, those are the ones they said there is no coffee, there isn't any coffee. Okay. Okay, remember this singular, there is. Non uncountable noun, there is. Veanlo y si tienen preguntas, ustedes me las pueden hacer, no problem. Yo tengo la duda. Eh, ¿cuándo, es que, ¿Cuándo es que tengo que usar el any? Porque como entiendo que any es ninguna. Uh -huh. eh, como ahí dice, dirisis en sugar, o sea, no tenemos ningún azúcar. Nada. O yo entonces, entiendo mal. Se interpreta. Es que depende, eso es uh -huh. de acuerdo a la interpretación, si usted lo quiere traducir. Le dicen en pues ya se va a, ¿cómo se diría en español? Uh -huh. No hay nada de azúcar. Okay. Ahí estamos, correcto. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo es eso? O sea, son cuestiones, es cuestión de interpretación. Acuérdate que, o sea, no siempre va a tener el mismo significado, sino que uno lo interpreta a cómo lo diría en español. Pero lo que significa es eso. Usted quiere decir, miren, no hay azúcar. Entonces, el any hace como más énfasis. ¿verdad? No hay nada de azúcar. There is an any, any. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. ok. Aunque en español quizás eso lo decimos, no hay azúcar. Pero en inglés va a tener que usar el any. There is an any sugar. Any. Uh -huh. Ok. okay thank you. Acuérdense, any lo van a usar en preguntas y en negative sentences. Ok. Y el some va en las afirmativas. Ok, people, no problem. Yes. Ok, teacher, no problem. Solo en preguntas y qué más dijo, teacher, disculpe. Any questions en negative uh -huh. sentences. Mira. Ajá. Voy a dar un ejemplo de pregunta que no les he puesto acá. Is there, Gracias. Is there any sugar um, on the table? Question. Is there any sugar on the table? Yes. Yes, there is. Or negative. No. No. There. There is. There is. Okay. Creo que ya ven las preguntas y ven el ENI otra vez. Por ejemplo, ¿hay algo de azúcar? O hay, aunque en español diríamos, ¿hay azúcar ahí en la mesa? ¿Hay azúcar en la mesa? Sí, hay. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. No, no hay. Ok. Entonces, copien estas para que. Sí. los ejemplos, right? Okay, now we're going to go to the knowledge check and see how it works. And this one, and out. Here. 
Then we have in the right each uh, sentence a different way, selecting the correct words. For example, here it says, I have some chairs in the kitchen. This is affirmative or negative? Affirmative. 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 Plural or singular? Plural. Singular. Okay. Then here, the, if it is affirmative and plural, which is the correct form? There are no, there is a, there are some, or there is no? There are some. There are some. Okay, because there are plural and some pairs, okay? There are some pairs, okay? You see, for okay. example, the, the criteria, okay? Los criterios, right? Affirmative and plural, okay? Affirmative and plural, this one. Affirmative or, uh, affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Affirmative. Singular, singular or plural? Singular. 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 Okay. Yeah. Singular. The correct answer? Yes, there is a. There is a. There is a. Okay. There is a stop. Okay, good. I don't have a refrigerator. Affirmative or negative? Negative. 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 Singular or plural? Singular. Okay. No. Then? There is no. There is no. There is no. Okay. There is singular. There is no. Okay. Eh, ¿Y ahora? Sí, que se oía mucho ruido. Sí, que lo dejan cuando abren todos los estadios, o sea, como están ¿ok? Que se hay que tratar es que no haya mucho ruido en el alrededor de uno, ¿ok? Then, there is a, so here there is no, right? There is no, is affirmative, I mean, it's uh, singular and negative. Now, I don't have curtains on the windows. Affirmative or negative? Negative. negative. Singular mm. or plural? Plural. Then there aren't. There aren't any. Any. There aren't any, any curtains. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, there are no. There are no. Uh, there aren't any. Oh, the two answers. There are no. They, there aren't any. See the instructions as they said uh, in a different way. Selecting that I don't have. Well, for me, the two. Let's try. There are no. Okay. Ah, there are no. There are no. Yes. no. Okay. There are no. Let's leave it two. Okay, and the number five. Singular, I mean affirmative or negative. 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 Plural. Plural. Very good. Then? Mm -hmm. They are no. They, they are, are no. They are no. Both. Okay. Both. Both. Let's see what happens. Tom. Okay. Good. So this is can... uh -huh. yes. yes. no. Then we can choose this one. And here, here we're gonna use there aren't, and here we're gonna use there are no. Okay, only accepts, okay, then we'll have submit. Okay, so they, he's using only there are no. There are no, there are no. Okay. Aunque ya vimos que las dos tienen. Son correctas. Ajá, okay. Pero acá han sido there are no, right? Okay. Okay. No problem. Good. Lo bueno es que ya saben que pueden ser las dos, right? And in this one, they are using there are no. Okay, I think the idea of there is and there are is clear, right? Let me see. What is the... Um, what was the important part of this uh, 
of this section of this, uh, let's say, uh, exercise. Understand there is and there are. Okay. When do we use there is? Pero antes le voy a tomar la foto de la asistencia para eso. Vamos a ver, participant here. Yes. Solo dame un segundito. Just a second. Sí, creo que es el momentito en que tengo más. Ok. Here we go. One more. And this is it. Okay, thank you very much. All right. So then, what? Uh, when do we use there is? Vamos a ver. When it's singular. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Singular for? Or when it's in a fountain. Mm -hmm. O cuando no es contable. Yes. Es infinito. Countable, uh, countable and uncountable. Okay. Eh, mm -hmm. Yo no sé si vieron, vieron eso en el primer nivel de los con, números con, de los eh, sustantivos contables y no contables. ¿No? Bueno, eso sí. en inglés se maneja que aquellos que tienen plural, como todo lo que no tiene plural es no contable. Aquello que no se puede decir one, por ejemplo, tengo un azúcar, dos azúcares, tres azúcares, one sugar, two sugars, mm -hmm. no. Ok, entonces esos son non-countable. Por lo general son eh, los, uh, por ejemplo, sugar, eh, coffee, liquids, right? Liquids. Son no, los granos, teacher. En los granos, exacto, right? And then there are some uh, eh, palabras abstractas también en algunos casos se mezclan. And also there are some, eh, how can I tell this? Yes, mostly... Lo que es así como grandes, right? Then, and there are, is for? Countable. Countable things. Solo que en los contables, you can use there is, ahí los podemos usar los dos. ¿Por qué? Porque se pueden contar. Ajá, y cuando, ¿por qué se puede usar there is con los que se pueden contar? Yo sé que Because I sometimes... Refer a one object exactly, Tatiana. Very good because sometimes there is refers to one object singular and it's countable. For example, in this moment, I have there is a cup, there is a cup in my hand. La taza se puede contar, correcto? Pero in this moment, I have only one, so there is a cup in my hand. Okay, for example. I am showing you my thumb finger. Estoy mostrando, mostrando mi pulgar. Okay, my thumb finger. There is one thumb finger on the screen. Now, there are two. There are two thumb fingers on the screen. So, depends. There is, there are. Okay, there is, there are. Okay, there is one finger. There are five fingers. There is, a, for example, there is a window. There are two windows. Okay, so that's why there is and there are. In negative, there is no. Okay, there is no coffee in my cup. Okay, there is no coffee. Okay, there isn't any coffee. Negative. There is no or there isn't. Okay. Uh, there are no. There are no what. There are no cookies, no cookies to eat. There are no cookies on my desk. Okay, or well, there aren't any cookies on my desk. Okay, so those, this is the concept, right? The concept of there is and there are. Now, tell me, now let's practice orally. What things do you have in your house? Levanta la manita and then tell me. For example, there is, ¿qué me quiere decir lo que hay en su casa? Lo que ven es así alrededor. Let's look around and say, for example, there is a picture I'm on the sure. wall. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mayra? In my house. Yes. There is and there uh, are. A ver si lo digo bien. Okay. In my bedroom, 
I have my bed and pillows. I and decks, one dex, one shade. A uh, shoe yeah. rack. No sé si así se dice. Rack. There is a rack. A uh, shelf. My closet. Repeat the last, the last one. A uh, shelf. My closet. Oh, there are clothes in my closet. Uh huh. Clothes. Closet. Um, I have television. There is a television. Mm -hmm. Television. Photography, photograph, no sé cómo se dice. There is a photograph. There is a photograph. My there computer. Is, there, is, uh, there is a computer. Oh. Okay. I have three windows. I have three windows. And one door. Okay, <laughs> and one door. Okay, good. Now, what else? Oh, who else? Who else? Procuren usar there is and there are, okay? There is and there are. Para que lo practiquen. Si dicen, por ejemplo, my house has three doors, three windows, okay, no problem. Okay, my ha there are three doors in my house. There are three windows in my house, no problem. Okay, Marta Lilian, tell me. <laughs> Marta is me, me okay. teacher, I want to participate. Okay, good. Go. Okay. Uh, in my house has a jar. Window. Okay. There are three bedrooms. Okay. There is a kitchen. All right. There are two bathrooms. All right. There, there is a living room. There is a living room. Okay, very good. Excellent. Only that. No problem. That's the description we have. Good. Rafael. <clears throat> um, in my house, there are six doors. Okay. Uh, there are two bathrooms. Perfect. There are Mm, two bedroom. There are there is a um, living room. There is a kitchen. There is a garage, and there is a yard. A yard. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Hey, Elsie. Hola, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Describe your house, Elsie. Um, my, eh, sería, there is um, two doors. Así there, sería. There, are, there are two doors. Two doors. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and there are, and there are um, four windows. Okay. There are four windows. And, and there are este, two living rooms. Okay. Um, there is eh, one com computer. Okay. There is one computer. There um, is one computer. Eh, in, eh, there is and there is este cartoon, one cartoon. There is one cartoon, <laughs> yes, there is one cartoon. Yes. Okay. Eh, ah, bah. Okay, very good. <laughs> no se ponga nerviosa, good, good. There is <laughs> one cartoon, good. Excellent. Bah. María bah. Carmen. <laughs> okay, María. In my house, there are uh, two bedrooms. Okay. Uh, there is a television. All right. Uh, there is a living room. Okay. There is a one. Baño, como se dice? Bathroom. 
one bathroom. bathroom. One bathroom. One bathroom. Y... There are four windows. There are four windows. There is a chicken. There is a kitchen. Y... There is uh, one garage. Okay, there is one garage. Only. Okay, very good. Nice. What a what a big house. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Tatiana, tell me. Okay, teacher. In my house, there are a lot of doors. There are four bed bedrooms. Um, there there is a kitchen. There is a living room. And there are two bathrooms. There are a lot of windows. Only that teacher. Okay, very good. That's the doors out. <laughs> yes, teacher. Have a, lot of, have a lot of doors, okay? Good. Thank you. Uh, I don't know, Rodrigo, Rodrigo Antonio. Yes, teacher. Okay. Tell my, ha your house. Mm -hmm. my house has uh, a dining room, a kitchen, a living room, four, four bedrooms. Uh, there is no TV. There are two computers. There are, there is a bathroom. Okay. Um, uh, there are two desks. Two desks, okay, good. Um, Como dijo la compañera, a lot of doors, a lot of, of windows. <laughs> a lot of doors and a lot of windows. Okay, good. So you have a lot of a lot of wind passing by. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, uh, Mrs. Berrios Hernandez, Mrs. Tell me the description of your house. Okay, in my house um, is there is um no the the yard the uh, Three bedrooms. There are three bedrooms. Uh, there is a uh, one kitchen. One kitchen, okay. Uh, the, the, there is the living room. There is a living room. Uh, there is a jar. Okay. Um there 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 is a la laundry room a laundry room okay um only only very good <laughs> very nice excellent good description okay you. johanna describe your palace in my house there are is one stereo Okay. Um, there is television. There. Yes. The television. Okay. <laughs> there are two doors. Okay. There are two two windows. Okay. There are three tables. Three three tables. Table. Table. Okay. Three uh -huh. tables. There are two bedrooms. Okay, good. Yes. All right, good. And is yes. there a fan? Hay un ventilador. Yes. Aquel le el pelo que está volando. <laughs> yes. <laughs> el cabello, no? Your hair is flying. Okay, very yes. good. That's nice. Okay, good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, so you say there is a fan. There is a fan, right? A fan, fan, F-A-N, es ventilador, right? Fan. Good. Eh, Gabriela, tell me. Hola. Okay. Describe your house. Uh, I am living room. 
Okay. Uh, in the layer window, in the I uh, in the room there are three windows. Uh, I am, there is TV, there is laptop, uh, there is, there there are three sofa. Oh, uh, sofa. The, um, tres, I, there are the windows, um, there are the rooms, a living room, a dining room, a bathroom. Dining, dining room and a bathroom. Dining. Okay, in this moment you are in the living room. Okay, sí. sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, who's missing? Rafael, Rafael, no, Rafael, you come right. Who else? Who else wants to participate? Okay, one more. Who wants to participate? One more. Volunteer. No. Stephanie. Mayra. Lorena. No. Rodrigo. Daniel. You want practice? No. Okay, Maria. Mayra. Lorena. Este. Y. In my bed, bedroom, mm -hmm. there is um, a mirror. Okay, good mirror. There good. Is, there is a window. Okay. And there, there are two doors. All right. And there are two chairs. There are is a maca. A hammock. A hammock. 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 Uh -huh. hammock. There, there is two. No, there are bed, bed. There are two beds. Yeah. There are. There is. There is gavetero. ¿Cómo era? There is a. ¿Quién se acuerda? There, hair. I mean dresser. The dresser? The dresser. The dresser. Mm -hmm. uh, only. Only. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, now remember the, to practice. Eh, una, una idea que les puede funcionar es que si tienen su cuarto, eh, rotulen todas las cositas. Se puedan eh, con una viñetita así en, en inglés, right? So that you can see it every day. Por ejemplo, mirror, le ponen una cita a mirror. Refrigerator, when I say refrigerator, right? Uh, for example, I have a, I don't know, the, a desk, for a desk. Uh, if you have, what else? The uh, makeup, el maquillaje, makeup, right, for the girls. Uh, if you have a night table, la mesita de noche, and a night table. Si cada vez que lo vean, se van acordando, se van familiarizando con, con vocabulario, right? Eso les puede ayudar a, a recordar vocabulario. El vocabulario es importantísimo en inglés. ¿Ok? Porque muchas veces una palabrita no los deja continuar hablando. Ustedes pueden tener la estructura, la idea, pero no lo pueden decir por esa palabrita que lo bloquea. Lo mismo al leer a veces, cuando uno lee una palabrita que no entienda, este, ya eso a veces lo detiene a que uno pueda comprender más, eh, más fluidamente. O cuando escucha, escucha una palabra que no conoce. Entonces, el vocabulario es fundamental, right, in this, uh, in this language. Well, in cualquier lenguaje. All right, so then uh, tomorrow we're going to have a little bit more of practice and solo déjenme mostrar lo que vamos a mañana y nos vamos. Okay, we're going to go to the next one, which is going to be a reading, right? So we have the reading for two special houses. I'm going to do some reading. Vamos a leer two special houses and vocabulary. Sí, aquí vamos a ver vocabulary. Okay. okay. And tomorrow we're going to start <laughs> section three. Yo sé que has trabajado con él. Con okay. Sí. So, have a very okay. good night. 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 Good